Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this video, we are going to see how we can create Azure app configuration and integrate with ASP.NET Core web app and we will deploy that to app service. Azure app configuration is a service which is generally used for centrally managed application settings and feature flags. So if you remember <coughs> previously we used to have web.conf where we were keeping application related setting and depending upon environment we could have multiple web config with web.dev.config or app.dev.config app.prod.config pp.config or similar to local host settings files the different files for different kind of application we used to have and then once you have to in keeping all this uh, secrets and uh, configuration in code is not a good way to keep that in microsoft azure we have two services to use this one one is app configuration and one is key vault so whatever key and secret related thing is there we should keep with key vault uh, whatever configuration related things are there or settings we can go with the azure app configuration so for this demo we are into azure portal and we are inside resource group web app and config demo so first we are going to create app config resource and app configuration and app configuration allow developer to store retrieve manage access to application configuration in one place and it is globally unique name so i will keep that soft which test config or soft which app config let me keep that and it is going to be standard or free we can use that one free inside free geo replication and soft delete not supported so let's go for free only because we do not need all this feature and access point is automatic and other details right now we can keep whatever default is being provided by azure let's go and review and click that okay now our resource has been created let's go to this resource so this is our app configuration and in configuration explorer we can create key value pair in key vault reference and also in feature manager we can define the feature like what are the fe different feature we are building enable or disable you have heard about the name the feature flags and feature of toggling and other things we can use this uh, feature in for test in production if some feature we want to enable for a particular set of user also that kind of things we can do it from here and let's go inside visual studio and let's create a web app so i'm going to create a new project and i'm going to select asp.net core web app let me go ahead and give a name and this is dotnet 6 authentication is right now none and we are configuring for HTTPS we are not enabling docker so let me go ahead and create and now we have to go ahead and install a NuGet package let me go ahead and it will be that uh, microsoft.azure.appconfiguration.asp.net core so I'm going to install this package and once the package is installed we can go ahead and add few lines of code after builder so when it is builder is being created it is going to get the config connection string app config and it is going to add this feature inside our configurations <coughs> so this is one provider it will be there it will go ahead and get the details from app config so uh, right now we are using connection string yeah, but for better security we can use managed identity so let me go ahead and grab the connection string first in connection string we can go into access key and then we can get this connection string and for safer also we can use that read only connection string so let me go ahead and get that one so inside our app config i'm going to put as a connection strings and this will be our connection string where we can have one or more i'm going to put that app config because we are using app config for that case and i can put the debug point also here before that 
now i can go ahead inside pages section and any any pages if, if we have to inject that i configuration so right now if you go into index model i logger is being injected i can go and say that i configuration right and i can get this injected if i go ahead and say that let me grab this detail and I can assign to local variable and now if I want to see that one running uh, let us me go into config explorer let me add a key value config1 and test value from app config let me apply this I am going to say that okay Let me put the debug point. I just want you to test that it is it coming or not. So now if we see, we are able to read connection string for our app config and it is going to add this configuration. And first page index was loaded. If we go ahead and see that configuration, there are providers, there are seven providers. In one provider is our app configuration provider, REST is environment variable, JSON provider, and configuration provider. In that, if we explore, we have data equals to one, and we can see this value is coming from that one. And if we go down, uh, we can see that this value is coming. Let's add few more key over there. Let's add test setting and this is how that we can add the section also instead of single variable and let me put that variable equals to white. Let me put another one. I'm going to create one class. We create one class for setting because I wanted to read the section, a uh, setting section and if we see that we have given the test app the setting and other things. So I'm going to create this section class and this section class is where background font, uh, font size, font color, message and other thing is coming. Now we can go inside our once again into program files and in program files where we are injected our app configuration after that one we can say that hey I wanted to do this setting one and setting is what class we defined that you go ahead and read this section from uh, this configuration config provider test app settings and put inside in settings and then once we go ahead inside our index classes then we can have we you must know that if you are working on that one this is i option a snapshot is one of the setting which provided by sp.net core where we can inject any now once we go that we can also set that uh, because now it is being injected i can go ahead and set this value that hey whatever options are coming option value put into settings so this is what it is going to be and then index dot setting uh, let's modify a little bit of index setting and then we can use this whatever value is coming and this is how this value will look like that model whatever model we have right now is going to come and uh, we are going to use background color model settings model is, is this our model right model is this and then model dot settings and other things is going to read inside this one font color font size message so let's go ahead and run this we go inside and see that what is the settings let's see that settings it is injected it went ahead pulled down from that app configuration and did that one and this is how it looks like that our page is coming and now let's go ahead and deploy this page to our app services i am going to publish this web page using publish is azure app services right now there is another uh, web app i have but i am going to create a new and i am going to use our resource group which we created web app config demo so i'm going to create a new hosting plan location so location let's keep at central india or let's go ahead and see that where we created our app configuration so our app configuration is to so let's keep the rest right now 
and then I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to create this web app. Now we can go and say finish. Close. Now let's publish. Now we can see this page is deployed. Let's browse this. Let's see if it comes up or it fails. This is right now coming. So this is the website. And if we go inside our dev, this uh, resource group, uh, we can see this page and we can browse from here also. And uh, let's browse this page and we are able to see. Now, if you see that one, uh, if we wanted to enable managed identity, we can go enable managed identity and then related code, we need to go ahead and change that one where we have to say that with you want to use with Azure identity and other things that little bit code we need to tweak and that's how we can make more secure over there. And also for dynamic enabling dynamic configuration, we need to make some changes inside only one place and then it will work. So I will create another video for that one. I hope you will like that. Mm -hmm.